I am a gay white male, 24 years of age, who is uh, looking for a friend with privileges. <laughs> um, I'm really nice, honest. Oh, I'm a student. This is so hard. <laughs> uh, I'm Karen. Um, and nervous. Can I start again, please? <laughs> Go ahead. <sighs> okay. Um, all right. All right, let's try this. I'll, I'll do it again. Okay. <laughs> Hi, boys. My name is Manfred Schachtel. I'm 24, and I'm looking for my Prince Charming to come and sweep me off my feet. I'm in it for the long run, so no players, please. You must be honest, funny, gorgeous, and have a big heart with room enough for me. I'm from upstate New York, and I moved to the city a couple years ago to pursue my interest in dance. And it would be really important to me that whoever I wind up seeing will be supportive in my dance career, <laughs> such as make me dinner maybe when I'm home, give me a nice long massage, and I guess the number one thing that I want is to have somebody who's willing to communicate, because as we all know, communication is the, the main thing to keep relationships alive. And um, if you have an interest in travel, that's great, because I love to, to travel around. And uh, just make me happy. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate that. Um, on today's show, we're going to talk about uh, people who are looking for their loved one, their true companion. So I want to ask you a couple of questions and um, see what you think for yourself. First, is it true that Mr. Wright will come when you least expect him? And when was the last time you met someone that made you weak at your knees? Well, on today's show, we will meet two men who are looking for that special companionship. Our first guest, Oscar Trujillo, already has a relationship, but wants to go outside the relationship for sex. <laughs> While our second guest, Eric Kubers, is looking to start a relationship after his recent two-month relationship failed. <laughs> so, to find Mr. Wright, both men place personal ads. Oscar's reads, 
I'm a 27-year-old Cuban looking for another man of color to play with. Be willing to top and bottom and enjoy my boyfriend and I together should he want to join us. Come creative and come ready. <laughs> Eric, on the other hand, is a 30-year-old bisexual Jewish Buddhist in search of a supportive partnership with another man between 30 and 40 years old who values honesty, vulnerability, and shared spiritual growth. Help welcome, welcome our guest, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, give a round of applause. So, thanks for joining us today, Eric. I just have a few questions for you and Oscar. Um, so, you say you're bisexual. So, does this mean that you have a similar app looking for women? Okay. I never thought about it like that before. Okay, well, let's go to Oscar, shall we? Oscar, you say you're looking for a man of color. So can you explain why this is so important to you? Well, you know, Latinos are really, really hip right now. And if I'm having sex or having a relationship with anyone, I don't want to be fetishized with some spicy flavor of the month. I'm sure we all can relate to that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> And Eric, is, is this your first serious relationship with a man? Well, I guess with that answer, ladies and gentlemen, it won't be its last. And, uh, Oscar, is there something wrong in your current relationship that provoked an interest in having sex with another person? Actually, my current relationship is in a That's really good That's wonderful to hear, and thank you for sharing. I really appreciate that. And, uh, Eric. I'm, I'm curious to know if, if you were interested, or if you've heard the expression, buy now, gay later? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for your info. That's great. <laughs> and, uh, Oscar, does having sex with others speak to your fear of commitment? <laughs> right. That's really interesting. I think next time you need to learn how to deal with your own issues. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have more to come. Please stay tuned. Woo!